Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about Spring Boot actuators. The most common interview question that is asked by any interviewer is, do you know about Spring actuator or what is actuator in a Spring Boot? Or they may ask like, what are the Spring Boot actuator endpoints? How do you check the health of an applications? So these are basically the interview questions that are asked by the interviewer. And we will discuss all about in details in this video. We will also discuss about what are the endpoints that are provided by Spring Boot actuator and how do we enable or disable any endpoint. We will take an example of already developed Spring Boot application and we will implement a Spring Boot actuator into it. What this application does is not important. The only important thing is how to implement the actuator and how things work in the actuator. So first of all, let's look at what is actuator. So actuator in a Spring Boot is a list of endpoints which is provided by Spring Boot by default so that our application has production readiness features already available to it and you can perform different kind of checks using it. For example, health check, what are the beans available in the container and things like that. So let's look at an example here. Let us suppose that this is a production ready software. Let's say it's an ATM machine. So it has so many features. The features may be like uh, transaction withdrawal or pin change or no cash. These are all the features in a ATM application and it is not having any actuator yet. What happens when we add one more feature that is a Spring Boot actuator into this application? Basically what will happen, it will provide us a list of endpoints which will not be helpful for the end user but it will be useful for monitoring the application like the health check or the metrics or the beans that are available or the information of the APIs, all these things will be available. So this will be very easy for any developer or operations team to understand the things and find the bugs. So with that, let's go to implement actuator in our application. So as discussed, we have this Spring Boot application. What it does is not important. How do we implement actuator is only important. So we go to the pom.xml of this application and in this application, we don't have any actuator dependency yet. So what we'll do, we will go and add one Spring Boot actuator dependency. And the dependency name is Spring Boot Starter Actuator. It is coming from org.springframework.boot. Okay, after adding this to our form.xml dependencies, we will click on save button and we will start our application. So application is already started. Let me show you. And we have one endpoint in this service that is not very important. This is only one endpoint. Okay. So by adding actuator into this application, there will be a set of endpoints that will be available by default to this application. And that is, you can see here in the logs when it has started, it has given here exposing two endpoints beneath base path actuator. Okay. So this is not the endpoint that we created, but it's still it is given by Spring Boot actuator. So let me go to the postman and test this API. Okay, this is the actuator here and my port is 8001. I have given that in the application properties. Let me go and hit my service. So it is showing like we have this endpoints already there. Actuator slash health actuator slash info. Let me give health and click on send button. This will give me a result that my application is up. Now, if I want to check the info, it will give me blank info because I have not set any info in the application, but it is giving me 200, okay? So there will be set of endpoints and those endpoints is given in our Spring documentation. The link I will give in the description when you go to the Spring official website, you can see the list of endpoints here, which are available by Spring Boot actuators. Okay, those two endpoints only we were able to hit. Let me try with the beans. If I give the beans here, will it work? No, it doesn't work. It is giving 404 page not found. That's because Spring Boot actuator doesn't enable all its endpoints by default because of obvious security reasons. So if we want to enable some of the endpoints, we can go ahead and enable it in our application just by 
giving the reference in our application dot properties or in application dot yml let me enable this beans endpoint how we can enable this go to your application dot yml or application dot properties it's here application dot yml i am using okay and in this application let me go to add some more properties and we will add this property management dot endpoint dot web dot expose and include so if we want to include this we can keep it into include if you want to exclude anything that we can give one more tag here exclude and we can exclude those endpoints now let's go and hit the beans endpoint so when i click on send now it will give me a list of all the beans that are available in the container of spring boot what if you want to enable all the endpoints you cannot go and keep on adding all the endpoints you can just give a comma and put on a star here that will enable all your endpoints okay so let's try with some more endpoints let me check with the environment so with the environment i will get the list of environment that are available let's check with matrix so matrix let us check it will give us the matrix name now i have one scheduled task in my application which is running every two minutes let me check if it is listed here or not okay so i have one task which is having interval of 1 lakh 20 thousand milliseconds that is two minutes and it's scheduled service okay so it is also getting listed so you can try with different things from the endpoints here now let's move one more step ahead and we'll add this piece of code in our application yml i'm enabling the matrix to true i'm setting the health details to show always and beans enabled equals to true let's save the changes and see what happens now if you type health here and press enter you will see the health of everything component health the disk space the revit which i am using in this application so it will show the health of everything and in details when you come down here in my application i am using application.yml if you are using application.properties you will have to give something like this management.endpoint.shutdown.enabled that's pretty clear i guess and one more thing you can see here there is an id that is nothing but your endpoints and one is for web and other is for java management so for exposing the endpoints you need to see this list what are all the things available for web and what are all the things available for jmx to expose and in our application we have exposed the web endpoints if you want to expose the jmx endpoints you have to come down and you have to take this endpoints.jmx.expose include if you want to exclude something you can type exclude and for ex including you have to type include so currently i am using this one in my application so i guess lots of things will be very clear to you after watching this video on spring boot actuator so if you have learned something from this video just press the like button and if you are new to the channel subscribe to our channel thanks for watching see you in the next video